Welcome to the shop. Okay, some of you remember this from a couple weeks back. Showed up in a trash bag and I completely rebuilt the doggone thing. Anyway, Maiden went great, flew super, but on landing, not so good. A little. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Ripped off the front nose, that ripped out part of the landing gear, bashed up the tail. So, opportunity for YouTube content. I took it from my buddy, decided to repair it. Here I'm gonna go into more detail in this video on using the steamer and some of the techniques I used to fix it. Some of this was I'm still new to the steamer and so there's a million different ways of fixing the foam. I use the steamer. Uh, and then use lightweight spackle, paint, uh, water-based poly, things like that. Just a little different than some of my others. This was smashed in, as you'll see. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the cool stuff. Appreciate it. Stick around. So the L39 is back in the shop. <clears throat> so had a little bit of a uh, issue on a landing, came in too fast, and then there was some other issues along the way. And well, let me just say that she was cartwheeling like Nadia Comaneci on the floor exercise in the Olympics. Pretty impressive stuff. Anyway, for the most part on the damage, obviously this is the biggest chunk, uh, the biggest damage, the biggest issue that we're going to have to tend to. And that's just reforming a lot of foam. It's never going to look overly pretty. The plastic piece that the landing gear fits in that's up here, um, that came loose. The glue came loose. So I'm going to take all this out, re-glue that, uh, use my syringe technique and get that glue all up around that plastic there. Tail section um, held up pretty decent. That little part right here broke off. This hinge kind of got a little tweaked. This side of the horizontal stabilizer cracked there, there, and there. So foam tacked these two pieces together, uh, foam tacked the hinges. This hinge got ripped out. By the way, um, if you're messing with some of these and they have the actual plastic hinges inside there, hit that with a little oil, just a drop, and work that in. So at least that part doesn't, uh, make sure it's oil that will not eat foam. Uh, but anyway, so that, so it doesn't get accidentally glued together. That would be bad. Um, for the most part, that's about it. You know, nice thing that I like to see is when this thing was tumbling all over the place, this fuselage, if you remember, broke completely in half. And this part that we had to glue back together is solid as can be. So uh, happy to see that. Unhappy to see it back in the shop, but we'll get her sorted out. All right, let's see what we can do with this. We're gonna use it with the steamer. Got this attachment on. I don't have a lot of experience with the steamer. A lot of people say hot water can mold it back and all kinds of things. But anyway, I'm gonna try this and I have found that playing around with my broken beloved P51 that I stick around for projects like this, uh, it actually did pretty well. So <clears throat> I'm gonna heat this up. Work on areas. I'm heating it and then I'm gonna use a spoon to Flatten it out, use my thumb. And yeah, still needs more heat, I think. I'll have to look at this footage after after we're done here a little bit to see how well what is the before and after kind of look. This part right here isn't as smashed in as the front of the plane. I'm going to try to... It's actually not awful. It appears like it might be somewhat better. So we're going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to try to piece that, put that back on. Well, i got to redo some more. But anyway, so here's what I was doing on it. And I don't know if this is the best way. I'm sure there's a bunch of people that love to shove it in really hot water, tap water, 
half boiling water. You go on RC groups and you hear everybody talking about five different ways of doing it. Some people swear by the steamer and then work in it. And <clears throat> All right, I'm going to try something a little different. Before I had kind of the whole steamer closed steamer thing. Now I'm going to try this guy because I have, was working some some of these smaller creases and as you can see it just magically removes those pretty darn well. So if we're doing that perfect right <clears throat> but I think this more precise nozzle does a little bit better job uh, I think it's just heat, a little more heat is what it is just a little bit more heat yeah you might get some alligator that popcorning kind of as you can see it is a little bit but if I can just get it to fit better, right now it's not fitting as nice as I would like as far as the nose. So just kind of doing a little more to expand the foam so I get a little bit better fit. Uh, we're gonna keep working this. I think we're, we're getting better. We're getting better for sure. All right, piecing this together, we're gonna get it glued up here soon as soon as I can get it to, so it's remotely straight and I can get some good adhesion on everything. Um, this I'm going to put some lightweight spackle going to have to sand it a little and then paint it. Um, I have gray and I have this olive so we'll just extend the olive part of it a little bit more and uh, you know, that's about the best we're going to be able to do. So we'll see where it goes. Sorry, didn't take you long for the uh, rest of the ride, but the rest of the ride is basically got her good enough, and now kind of got her uh, gluing up. Uh, just decided, you know, tack up the E6000, put a bunch on, pull it off, pull, you know, get it to string out a little bit, and then clicked it together. Kind of massaged it into place and then did some uh, pins. And I'll just keep checking on it to make sure it stays in place because sometimes these things have a way of moving around on us. So we will uh, keep checking on it. Hopefully, it'll get a good bond. I'll be able to put together the rest of the landing gear door and then I think ready to give it back to Mike. Basically, the landing gear plastic housing that glues into the foam became loose. So, wanted to attach it. Reattach it. E6000 in my little syringe, drilled a bunch of holes in the plastic housing, squirted E6000 into everything, and to give it a little bit more strength, used carbon fiber rods, to, and I basically pushed those into the, the foam and left those just a slightly proud. All right, next step, we're going to finish this off. Lightweight spackle. Uh, I know there's flexible spackle. There's a bunch of diff different types of spackles out there. I use the lightweight stuff. Then after uh, putting on coats, I'd sand in between, put on another light coat, sand in between. Finally got to the point where I was happy with it and then hit everything with Minwax uh, polyacrylic, put three coats of that on, sanding very lightly in between coats, and it gave it a really nice finish, ready for painting. All right, so after the multiple coats of poly and sanding, and I sanded with pretty fine grit down to about, I don't know, probably a 400 grit, uh, hit it with this olive paint is something I had for my P51. The gray underneath was similar to what I had on my E-Flight uh, A10, 
and the black I just masked off after I did my creative painting of the uh, with the olive and I just masked that off with some low tack uh, frog tape and spray painted with Rust-Oleum Ultra Satin and uh, not too bad not too bad you know the bottom line was I learned a lot on using the steamer this is the first time I really used any kind of uh, uh, spackling and really focused on that kind of thing so anyway glad I could share it with you don't be afraid to rebuild some of the planes that you destroy have fun take care thanks a lot